Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Doing a little bit of fishing today, trying to get a little bit of prime fish meat. That way we can cook it up. We're gonna be raising up two of the Tekrex that I have eggs for today. Gonna set up a little hatching station inside of the base too. I got some air conditioners made. I think we have enough. Yeah, that should be good. Awesome. So yeah, the plan is to get those two guys raised up and then we can start trying out the the yellow drops with them. I don't think there's any more in here. So I've been playing with the Velanosaurs a little bit, and I kind of got them figured out. I wasn't sure exactly how to get them to be in turret mode and actually attack stuff. So it turns out you have to put them on aggressive after after you put them on turret mode. <laughs> I messed up and put one on aggressive before I did, and oh man, that dude went crazy on everybody. But anyways, I'm going to head back over to base here. And we'll throw this stuff into the grill and try to set up the ACs and get those two eggs hatched. Hopefully they come out with something good. Really, really curious on what the stats are going to be. Nice silent glide back into base. That dude is still sleeping, man. Boy, I tell you what. I messed up and threw him out before my cryo sickness was gone and he's... Thought he could just take a nap, man. Tell you what, hard to find good help these days. So yeah, I had to get these two guys set up as uh, little turret defenses. The defenders, those little robots, dude, they kept rolling in here, attacking everybody. So we need to get some, need to get some better defense set up. I need to get some turrets probably set up. But the Velanosaurs, man, they're just, they're like free turrets almost. Don't use any ammo, just a little bit of food. All right, let's get this fish meat cooked up. As you can see, I got a couple berries. It should be everything that we need just in case to raise these guys up. I don't think they're gonna want anything else that's kind of weird. All right, let's move this gotcha around a little bit. All right, you just sit right there, buddy. And we're gonna put the owl back in the cryopod. Free us up a little bit of room. Check on our meat. Don't want it to burn, you know. It's awesome. That's a good bit of that's a good bit of uh, cooked prime fish meat. I think our fridge is getting about full too. So we'll keep a couple stacks of food on them or on us, and we'll keep that keep half of that stack. I actually, don't even need half. That should be good. Nice. So let's take a look at the ACs. I'm not sure how many we needed, so I made, I think it was 10 of them. I'm gonna just put them here in the corner. Yeah, that should be good. So the good thing is you can kind of clip them together once you get them set up. Actually, uh, let's let's put it, put it the right way. Gotta make it all looking nice and neat, you know. There we go. So I don't know if I just want to put them flat against the wall or maybe maybe make like a little U shape. I don't want to do the full full one like we did last time. Maybe one more and then we'll cut back across. And then the extra ones, I can just clip them in like that and it'll work out. I think I'm just going to do that one there. I don't want to stick them out any further. Hopefully this isn't going to be too loud. So one thing I hated about them on our build that we had on Crystal Isle is dude, it was so loud. Anytime I was over there, all you heard was the ACs running. Nice. So that should work fine for pretty much all the eggs, I think. Except for like wyvern eggs, but there are none of those on this map. Ooh. Man, I'm glad they put that up there. I almost ate it. Nice incubating. Okay, so we got five minutes. Let's go ahead and throw the other one out and we'll get the time down. I'm going to stagger them just a little bit so that I have time to 
hopefully imprint on both of them. I'd like to get them imprinted as, as best we can and hopefully we'll get like a male and a female so we can breed them a little bit better. We will be using Rex on the red drops and man, those are really tough. I really, really, really need to do a bunch of the yellow drops to get a better saddle blueprint. It's gonna help out a ton at the uh, in the long run, you know? All right, so these are just about ready. That one's got three seconds, let's pick him up and we'll stagger it like I was saying. We need to get this guy outside right away before he gets too big for in here. Oh, nice. Nice blue colors. Throw some food in because I do not have a feeding trough. Then change his wandering settings down. All right, dude, come with me. Possibly over here. There we go. I think it's funny how they're so loud and they're so little still. Dude is like all up on the vault and everything. Holy crap. Come on, buddy, before you can't even fit out this door. Man, that Velanosaurus still taking a nap. I had a crowd pod the other two wrecks. They were going nuts. One ended up way over there on the other side of the bridge. Come on, buddy, you over there slow walking, man. Dude, I like it, man. Look at the colors. It's like all blue. All right, so he's got 10,500 on the health, 2,000 on the stamina, 890 on the weight, 511 on damage. Not bad, not bad. Cool. We'll have to see what he comes out to whenever he gets a little bit bigger. Let me go ahead. What he's got? Five minutes? Yeah, that should be enough time in between. Let me throw this other one out. We'll get it hatched up. And see what we got with him. And it's another male. Oh, that sucks. Kind of ugly legs, too, but it's all right. All right, little dude, outside with you, man. Let me guess, over the vault, too, right? Yep, yep, just like your brother. Boy, I tell you what. This one, though. Ah, that's a nice-looking Rex there, man. Are you coming? Can you not open the door? Hey, you can. Come on. What are you doing in there? What? Tell you what? What? We're gonna have to cryopod him to get him out here. Why are you not following? Come this way, man. Over here. Come on. You're about to get too. <laughs> He's about to get too big to fit out the door. Alright, we'll get you all the way over here. Have you a nice straight line. That big old head, man, it's hard for him to walk straight, I think. Come on, dude. What's his follow distance? I thought I put it on low. Oh, okay, wait. My bad, my bad. I, I put you targeting on low. I think I did the other one the same way. But somehow he made it out the door, I'm just saying. There we go. All right, buddy, hang tight right there. Let me give you a little bit of food. Eat that up. Grow big and strong. Yep, did the same thing with him. Okay, so we got three minutes on him and four and a half on you. What have you got for stats? Lower health? Same stamina? Lower damage. You are not going to be very useful. But you... Oh, wait, this is a female. I thought this was a male. Interesting. Well, that's even better. That'll make better eggs than, than the other one. I have to get rid of the other one that we had. All right. I'm going to go ahead and try to get these both um, imprinted and all that. I'll not do that on camera because it takes so long. And then we'll come back and see what their final stats are. Hopefully, we can get at least 100% imprint on this one. It'd be nice. And maybe this guy will finally be awake. Boy, I tell you what. Still unconscious. Uh-huh. All right, they are both fully grown. I got 75% on both of them. It was uh, pretty close on time to get them fully imprinted.
But this one came out awesome. So we got 12,100 on the health. Stamina is still the same at 2100. Weight went up to 1,023. Damage went up to 582, which is awesome. And I didn't notice they get a speed bonus. So it's up to 115 right now on that. And then we'll show you the other one real quick. This one came out to 10,800. 2100 on the stamina. Weight is uh, 1,000. Damage is only 493, so not as good, but it did get the speed bonus as well. So it looks like the imprints got them uh, some health, weight, damage, and movement speed. So not too bad at all. This one, we're going to leave here for a while. Uh, I'll probably still use it, but this one we're going to use for breeding. Definitely going to be using this. Get a couple eggs before we do a drop. But let me get her health up a little bit. I do have some saddles for him. I'm going to use the owl, heal her up, and then we'll take her for a spin around here to see how the damage scales with the uh, the bonuses and stuff. Dude, this thing is a speed machine. You would think that uh, 115% wouldn't be that much, but dude, you're talking about a Rex that moves slow anyways. There is a rock drake, for some reason, over here. I didn't think they spawned this close to the walls. So, let's go ahead and take him out. Good chance to test us out a little bit. Get some good levels. So 400, that's not too bad. Almost 500 on the bite. Oh man, what level is this drake? Doing almost 100 damage. What's oh, a bad place for a pterodon to come down. Oh, I was a level 85. I got four levels. That's gonna go all into damage. We'll see how that does real quick. If there's anything else over here we can take out. Dude, this guy zooms, man. And he's got a good bit of stamina, so you can run for a long distance. 611, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is definitely going to help out with the drops and the medium tier on the element veins. Awesome. Well, we got us a nice little hatching station set up and got us another Rex that's going to be really good for making higher quality eggs, higher level eggs. Going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.